What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over something super important, which is how to track your inventory between Etsy and Shopify, but not only sync the inventory. So when someone buys from your Shopify, it also deducts the inventory from your Etsy account, but also how to fix the problem of when you sell in bundles. Not only am I going to show you how you can keep track of your inventory between Etsy and Shopify. So if someone buys from your Etsy account, it also deducts the inventory from your Shopify account. But on top of it, I'm going to show you how you can use this application to track inventory when it comes to bundles. So I recently put out a video about another app called Shop Ups by ShopSync, which is great when it comes to just straight up connecting Etsy and Shopify together and then tracking inventory. The problem that we found Further than that was that we started bundling items. So say you sell a red, white, and blue t-shirt together as one order in one listing. It's one variant, right? So you're selling a red, white, and blue, three shirts in one, but you also sell a red and a blue shirt bundle, t-shirt bundle in one, but then you also sell just a red t-shirt by itself. So when someone buys from this middle bundle here, it needs to deduct from this bundle here and this bundle, well, this single variant here. And so my whole store is comprised of bundles. So while it did help me, it didn't solve the whole issue that we were having. So I recently found a new application called Sum Tracker, which actually solves this problem as well. And it goes even further. So it tracks multi-channel Etsy and Shopify, but then it also allows you to set up bundles. So if you sell this necklace, say by itself, but you also sell it in five different listings because it comes in a bundle of five other necklaces, you have to be able to track that inventory when someone buys a full set bundle over here, or they just buy it by itself over here, or they buy it in a whole different bundle here because it's paired with other chains in another listing. So I'm gonna hop into my computer right now and I'm gonna show you how we actually do this inside of Sum Tracker. They're a little bit of a newer company, but after I went through the whole process of onboarding the Shop Ups apps, which does work good if you just have single product variants and it's a lot more simple if that's the only problem that you have, but if you are bundling items, and you want more features with the app, then I do suggest you check out some tracker. So yeah, let's hop into it. By the way, my name is Hannah Gardner, and if you're new to the channel, we talk about anything and everything that has to do with e-commerce and building brands online. So if that is something that you're into, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel because you know, you just should. All right, so we are inside of my apps and my Shopify store. I'm gonna click here to some tracker. Okay, or I have it open right here. Okay, so once you onboard this app to your Shopify store, you come in here and you just add a channel. As you can see, we have Etsy and we have Shopify. The syncs happen every 15 minutes. Now, there is a lot of stuff, a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with this, and I'm gonna show you a few of them. So one of the first things that you have to do is that you have to make sure that inside your Shopify and your Etsy account that your SKUs match. So whatever the product or variant is and the full set option, if you're bundling, they all have to match inside of Shopify, inside of Etsy. So you're probably gonna wanna do this before you sync the accounts to your Sum Tracker account. So make sure you go ahead and make sure that all of your variants, all of your SKUs match per product. This was really hard for us because we had like over I don't like 300 SKUs, <laughs> I don't know. I did not set it up properly in the beginning, so this was a really big headache for us. So if you're just starting out, you're gonna wanna do this now. So make sure all your SKUs are the same. Um, don't worry about inputting quantities from your Etsy view or your Shopify view here, because once you start using Sum Tracker, when you want to go and edit quantities, you're gonna do it from your Sum Tracker app. You're not even gonna touch the quantities inside of your Etsy and your Shopify anymore. The only thing that I will say is that inside of Etsy, if you let something go out of stock, you're going to have to renew the listing and then reset the stock inside of Sum Tracker because that's just one little glitch that they can't really control because when you do sell out on Etsy, it puts the listing inactive. So the app won't make 
that listing reactive. You have to go and activate it and then reset the stock. So once you make sure that all the SKUs are the same, you can come into this bundling section right here and you can start creating bundles. So for instance, if I was going to come back here and bundle this, which it's already bundled inside of some tracker already, but I'll just show you as an example. I would take the full set SKU. So this is the full set option. And when you buy the full set option, you're getting this chain, this chain, and this chain. And so basically we need to set the inventory per SKU in every single variant. And what it's going to do, it's, it's gonna take the lowest stock for the, the full set option and add it to that full set option. So you see there's only 21 heart chokers. So it's gonna make the full set option only 21 available because obviously if they're buying the full set option, they're buying all three necklaces. And then as far as other bundles, right? They're always going to take it based off the lowest quantity of whatever to set the stock for. Say you're selling you know, you're bundling three of the same items, like this isn't the same items obviously here, but say I was just bundling three of the same necklaces, right, where it's technically still the same product, where this is not the same product. So it would say 21, and you could buy different quantities. So you could buy three of these necklaces here, and there's 21 max, and then you could buy one of them, you could buy 21 if you were bundling two of them, then that means it would only allow you to buy 10 for two of them. So it would do the equation for you in the case that you're bundling something that is the same item over and over and over again. So yeah, let me just show you here how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna grab this SKU here. We're gonna go into some tracker. We're gonna create a new bundle. You're going to put the bundle name. So it's gonna pick up this SKU here. And now you're gonna tell it what this bundle is comprised of. So remember, it already is synced your Shopify and your Etsy account, so all the SKUs are gonna auto-populate here. So this bundle right here is comprised of what? It's comprised of one of these, which is the Cuban chain, which is the middle one. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna put this. It's comprised of one of these. You're gonna add the next component, which is this heart choker. We're gonna come here. You're going to add this here. And there's one of these. And then you're gonna add the next component. And these pictures, so just a side note so you don't get confused. So for instance, this Cuban chain exists in this listing, but I also sell this Cuban chain in like five other listings. So the image that shows up here, it's just pulling one image from your Shopify account. So if you see that it's pulling an image that's like, well, that's not the thing that I'm trying to bundle or whatever, it doesn't matter because it's only gonna show you inside of some tracker one SKU. So you're going to get per SKU inventory for every single SKU that's in your store. And even though this may exist in your store seven times, it's only gonna show obviously one set of inventory. And I know that so that could be common sense, but for me, it like confused me a little bit for whatever reason. So let's come in here and pick the last SKU and we're gonna put it here. And, oh, that was not the right here. It is the 18 inch, oh, it's a heart. Yes, here. Okay, it is this here. So this skew here, even though it has a wishbone pendant here, it's because it's pulling from the chain, not the pendant, and it has a different name. So that's kind of what I was talking about before, why it's a little bit confusing, because I have this chain here, not with the pendant, but this chain in like 10 different listings. So it's pulling from the name of a different listing. So don't let that confuse you. The skew is still the exact same. So it's one of these. So we're tracking the inventory of the chain, not the pendant. And then basically what you would do is come and save it up here and then your bundle would be created. The next thing that you would have to do is you're going to go to adjust stock and you're going to set the stock. So you would come into set stock, add new, add line, and you're gonna come in here. You don't need to set the stock for the bundle because you already set up the bundle and you told the bundle that the bundle is comprised of these three SKUs. So what you would just need to come in and do here is set the stock per SKU. 
All right, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna adjust the set the stock for this SKU here. So remember, if it's all synced with Etsy and Shopify, you don't ever, you're never gonna touch the quantity from inside of the Shopify or Etsy anymore. You're going to always view your inventory and reset stock and add stock from this inventory sum tracker. So you're gonna come grab this SKU here. You're going to go to adjust stock, set stock. So this is when you're setting stock for the first time. If you want to just add stock because you've got more inventory, you can just add stock here. And all of these transactions of when you're adding stock are tracked here. So say you need to reduce stock for whatever reason, you would not obviously add stock, you would come in here and reset the stock. That's just like an example. So for this example, we're gonna come in here and set stock because remember we just set up this bundle we are going to add a new line. We are going to type in this skew here, which is this choker. Right now it's set at 22. We're gonna put it at 23, just so we can show you how it updates. We're gonna mark it as complete. Now we're gonna come back over here. You can see it's at 22. We're gonna refresh the page. and now you see it is at 23. Now, another cool feature of this is once you set up all your bundles, all your SKUs are synced, you can, all your inventory is set, so you have to set the stock for all of your SKUs here. Once all that's done, there's a lot of really cool features in here where you can see like a low stock product, so view products that are low on stock. So like all these reports are super, super helpful just for running the day-to-day -day business, which we never did before because there was no way for us to track our inventory before. Another thing that is really cool to see, if you go into your products, just to explain what some of these rows mean, for instance, you have, if we go to products, okay, cool. So we're in the product list. All right, we have this Luke tennis bracelet right here. It says in stock physical booked means that somebody has purchased it. And then once it's actually fulfilled, it's tracking that inside of Etsy and Shopify and it's removing the inventory. So if booked, it means that it's unfulfilled. If it's available update online, that means that it's, it's available in in order incoming. So if you have like in here, you can put incoming inventory somewhere in here. This is the category it's in, how many listings it exists in. So for instance, this Luke's tennis bracelet, it's in three online listings here inside of Shopify. And when you click on it here, yeah, it gives you some more breakdowns of that. Just to, to give you a really clear vision of like how many, how many times your products really exist inside of your store alert threshold so you can set set up alerts so when something's getting low on stock it will send you alerts for when you need to restock that so and just another thing right here is this is actually the reduce stock so you can reduce stocks you don't have to reset stock but there's a lot of other cool features in here this is basically what i use it for but i know there's this goes even farther beyond just the low stock reports this goes like not only multi-channel but multi-location it's you know you can track your purchases with your suppliers your incoming inventory that you have being shipped to your warehouses which i don't really use i really just use this for the bundling feature and the low stock feature and so far so good you have more reports like more inventory snapshot reports that we haven't even really dove into yet but as far as solving the bundling issue that we've had because literally every item that we have is bundled in some way it has completely solved that issue for us not only in shopify but also with our etsy store as well so yeah all right guys, that concludes this video all about bundling and syncing your inventory between Etsy and Shopify. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you do wanna check out some, some tracker, you can check out the link in my description. And yeah, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please do go ahead and ask all your questions inside of the comment section and we can help you out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.